All right, guys, I'm out here in a shipping container yard and I just strapped this container down to my truck. Now I asked a bunch of people how they strap it down and everybody has a different way, but I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pull out of here because I don't wanna offend anybody and then I will uh, let you know how I strap down a shipping container. All right, so what I was gonna tell you at the pickup, but I didn't want to offend anybody, how to chain these freaking containers down to your trailer. Look, okay? This is how they connect them to the, to the semi trucks. So just one chain through both of those, and then in the middle, right there, okay? In the middle, tighten it down with a ratchet binder. In the back, let's go to the back, same thing. Tighten it down with a ratchet binder in the middle, okay? Just use one chain. Just use one chain. Yup, and see, don't just take my word for it, okay? No straps. Boom. One chain binder. That's how you do it. One chain up front, one chain in the back. That's how you do it. Now, a little bit about the numbers, okay? This uh, container paid $700 from Kansas City to Missouri. It was 200 to St. Louis, Missouri. It was 256 miles. Okay, I got paid $700 once again. It was 273 a mile. Normally, that's not that bad of a rate, okay? But here's the thing. I can't partial out anything on my trailer. It's fully taken up. Yeah, I have the step deck, but whatever. 273 a mile, I was getting 6.3 miles to the gallon with this F550, okay? It doesn't really matter what truck you're in, you're gonna get like six and a half miles to the gallon. So I'm gonna let this guy take me off, uh, unload me. But anyways, guys, that's a little bit about containers and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.